This video is sponsored by Curology. We're starting our 2024 right by continuing the things that have served us well in 2023 and honestly, for years. Curology has been the foundation of my skincare routine for I think three years now. It might be four, it might be four. I remember taking pictures of my face from all sides, uploading it to their website. I had a bunch of dark spots and pimples, especially like around my temple area. One of their dermatology providers got back to me pretty quickly and prescribed me a custom formula. That was the first time that I was using like these specific ingredients. This is it right here. It has tritinoin in it, clindamycin phosphate, and azelaic acid. Y'all been making, y'all been having me go around here talking about it's some azelaic acid or azelia banks acid. It's not, baby, it's not, it's azelaic acid. A shout out to my dermatologist friend who, who told me, she corrected me. I can't believe I was seeing it like that for so long. Anyway, my routine is pretty simple. In the morning, I wash my face with Curology's cleanser. I follow up with their moisturizer. And then I apply my sunscreen. I apply that like throughout the day. And then later at night, I wash my face again with the cleanser. I apply my custom formula. And then I applied my moisturizer on top of that. And then it's good night for me, baby. It's good night. That's been working for me this whole time since I started. But if you need your custom formula adjusted, it's nice to know that you can do that. Highly recommend. I highly recommend to literally everybody that I know. So if you want to try it out, head to the link down below for more information. New customers get a special offer subject to consultation and subscription is required. Shout out to Curology for keeping this face good and sponsoring this video. Speaking of the video, let's get back into it. Y'all, yeah, I don't yo. know what to do. I don't know what to do. Okay, you can't do it. I can't. I'm not him. Wait a what? minute. I'm not him right now. I'm not him with the Who? Timothy Turner. It's just like, it's getting so scary. My eyebrows need to be done. Oh, oogly, oogly. my nails need to be done. The sides need to be shaved off. And this out oh, make me look like I'm at a disco. And this is my favorite song. Ooh, what kind of jam is this? <laughs> yes. Itching in there. I hate this. It's getting serious and bad. Don't itch. Don't itch. It's not. It's not okay to do that, especially when you be coming around with them claws. Get your get your nails done and then itch. How about that? I need to wash my hair. It's important. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Is that I'm leaving on Friday. It is Tuesday. I'm leaving on Friday for the weekend. Get out of here. I don't. We don't know who that man is. I really don't know who that man is. To be honest, like not even a political statement there. I literally just have never listened to his music. And I don't know who he is. I mean, he could be walking down the street. I wouldn't. I wouldn't know a thing. And I also need to film something from my L Organics. The products that they sent me are like scalp care products, and so I'm like, actually, this would be a perfect time to use those and do what I need to do because this scalp is itching and burning. Oh, I literally this flakes. Oh snap. Oh. Fight. Oh snap. But one of the products that they sent me. I don't know where it went. Where is it? Where is it? Where did it go? It just literally disappeared out of my house. Ain't but me in here. It's like there's not many two places I could have put it. At this point, it's like the only place it could be is in the toilet. Not in there. I can't believe, and that's like the product that they want me to use, and that's the product that I want to use. I just can't believe what miss it. So now I'm like, what the hell we gonna do now? <laughs> Like, what do I do? Girl, I looked it up and they sell it at Target. Now, the Target that's closest to me, the one that I'm comfortable driving to, don't be selling much of anything. Like, it's one of the lowest stocked Targets on planet Earth. And people love Mayel, so it's sold out at a lot of the Targets near me. So the one that's closest is 16 miles away. Bye. Bye, see your next question. 16 miles? What's that girl name, Vanessa? Carlton? Mm -mm, we not, we not her, baby. I could walk a thousand miles. I wouldn't. Not for no scalp scrub. I'm sorry. I love you, my but no. Mm -mm, get some ideas. <laughs> I'm doing that. But then I realized my Google search was off because the zip code was off. So I changed the zip code and then I was like, oh, okay. Ow! Okay, it's, it's actually one over there. It's one over there, like six miles away. So I'm going to get that tomorrow. So then it'll be Wednesday. So I could, in theory, wash my hair tomorrow, even though my scalp is itching and burning today. But here's another issue. This is the part I didn't tell you yet. Hold on, you about, to, you about to gag. Here's me. Here's me gagging. You know how people with natural hair or with any hair in general have to kind of plan their hair routine around the events that are taking place in their life? Like, okay, right. can't wash my hair on Thursday because on Thursday, I'm not gonna have enough time before the event, so I have to do something real quick. But I also can't wash it on Friday because I'm working out on Friday. It's like, do I want a fresh wash and go while I'm working out? No, but on top of that, when you have an undercut, you have to plan your natural hair alongside you getting your hair cut as well because that's when you look maximum, max cute. That's when you max him. I'm trying to be Hemi Timmy. Timmy, Timmy, Timmy Turner. 
please. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. I be scheduling my haircuts way in advance because my barber is in demand. She in demand. So I booked it two weeks ago for the day before my trip, which is this Friday. So I'm getting my haircut on Thursday. I wanted my haircut to be crispy as possible for my trip. <laughs> so you want to get your haircut right before your trip. So now it's like, do I wait till Thursday? It's Tuesday to wash my scalp that's literally screaming and kicking back for help. It's literally hanging on the cliff like this. Help me, please. And I'm standing on the cliff looking at it like, and it's nothing I can do for her now. Huh? What, huh? Like, get your scalp together. In addition to no mathematics, I'm also trying to get my hair braided on Thursday. So after I get my hair cut, go get my hair braided, corn rolled. Cause I don't feel like doing my hair, I just kinda wanna pay somebody to do it and then I wanna just go on my trip and then come back, take it out and be done. So now it's like, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna wear my hair? How am I gonna walk? What wig should I wear? How am I gonna act? Should I just wash my hair real quick and like do a little quick style and then wash my hair again on Friday? Cause I have to prepare for the braiding. Unless my braider will wash my hair and style my hair. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Oh wait, no, cause I wanted to wash my hair with the my other organic stuff on Thursday before the braiding. It's too much, it's just too much, it's too much. I'm confused. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 I figured it out, I figured it out, baby. I am going to wash my hair tonight, twist it up in some random quick style, and then just wait till Thursday to wash my hair again. Thank y'all so much for helping me out. I really appreciate that, because I was really stressed out. Thank you. Thank you, and I really appreciate it. Girl, I was about to get in the shower and do all that, uh, all, do a whole bunch of stuff. I need to get this scalp together, hold on. Pros for the camera. Um, we need to do the, <laughs> we need to do the, the pre shampoo mask for both the scalp and the hair. Take these nasty old braids out, these nasty old twists out. Don't you hate when your scalp is literally bamming at the door like Please let me in and let me out. But you have some twists in and you take them out and then it gives you this like Twist out. Oh, not the flakes. Girl, I need an eye mask. <laughs> I need an eye mask to take these out. <coughs> Actually, let's just speed it up. Let's speed it up. done wash and go in 10 score in seven years i've been seeing people in their wash and goes and it makes me want one and it's like girl you could get that you could do that i don't know why i'd be acting like i can't do a wash and go <laughs> you know what it is is that it's hat season and i really be wanting to wear my hat and it's not necessarily hard to put a hat on with a wash and go but it is hard to keep your wash and go like nice with a hat on you're still pretty put your hat on and i don't be wanting to just wear any old hat like i don't be want. i want to wear like a cute hat let's put this on the scalp baby just dump it right on in there Oh, it feels so good, so cooling. I have to put this like right down the middle and then along my sides. Just like literally put a lot of it on there and then just. Wow. Massage. This feel like I'm putting on a, doing a perm. Don't say that. What's that stuff that they be using in a perm? A neutralizer? Yeah. I think it's called a neutralizer. I remember one time my mom like forgot, like she ran out of neutralizer or something and she was in the middle of a perm. And I had to run in the rain because I couldn't drive a car, I was too young. I had to run in the rain to like the local CVS to get a <laughs> neutralizer. <laughs> Cause she was like, ah, my hair's burning, it's gonna burn off. And she couldn't go because she had perm in her hair. It was just crazy, I, that was a crazy time. Okay, I think I'm gonna finish this pre-shampoo mask out. I'll be running through this. Pros really did that. Pros is like a bespoke situation so you tell them exactly what you want in your product based on issues that you face and I told them I ain't want no fragrance in there and I think what that means is that it's just gonna smell herbaceous. Uh -huh. Girl it smell like something you're not supposed to be um, smelling. Snoop Dogg! No cause I'm about to call the RA. You're gonna get a knock at your door soon. Imagine they call the campus police cause of my hair mask and then they come in there looking stupid cause I got my hair in two Two big dookie braids with, with some pre shampoo mask in it. They're gonna be looking dumb. I think I'm gonna get my eyebrows braided. I think, <coughs> what? I think I'm gonna get my eyebrows braided? What, baby, what is you talking about? I think I'm gonna get my eyebrows started tomorrow, my hair cut Thursday, my hair braided Thursday, pack Thursday night, leave Friday. Period. Period. Big old, big old Tonka truck knots in here. Why, when we was young, people would just put their ponytail wherever? They would be like, okay, side ponytail. <laughs> they would just wear it to school just like this. Or we'd be like, okay, high ponytail. And then they would wear a low ponytail. Sometimes they would do one ponytail off to the side and the other one to the left like that. 
Like, what is going on? We was just doing anything. Anyway, I'm gonna rinse this out of my hair, detangle in the shower a little bit, and then I'll come back and I'll twist my hair up or do a wash and go or something. Bye. I just had a euphoric experience in that there shower. Close the door. Thank you. I put the bills around here. Close that door, in or out, in or out. The trauma of that phrase from a black mom. I'm being transported back. <laughs> girl, I'm transported back to 2006, girl. In or out. Land out of my heat. Girl, I'm out. Bye. Me and, me and my friends riding out on a dirt bike. We don't got dirt bikes, we too poor for that. What? What is going on? What am I saying? I just be talking when I come up here. I realized that today is actually a perfect day to try out these freaking products for my organic since I'm already going to be like doing my L stuff anyway. I've had these in my closet for a while because y'all said y'all wanted to see me use these a long time ago. The pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner and the coil sculpting custard. I'm scared. Why am I scared? Why is he scared? Because I don't know if this will work in my hair because I'm out of the shower and I just read the directions. It says apply on dripping wet hair. Huh? 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 I do have this little water bottle, so we're just gonna like wet our hair profusely and hope it works. Let's take this right on off. Y'all, I've been struggling trying to find a braider. First of all, I need somebody on Thursday specifically. Let's take this, let's take this down. It's looking crazy. I need somebody on Thursday specifically. Not everybody is available, so that like took my search down from like 18 people that could possibly braid my hair here in Phoenix to like eight people. Amongst those eight people, the girls don't be given quality. Like they be like, I'm a braider, I'm a Phoenix braider. And then you look at the braids and you- Somebody ain't doing the math right. How long you been doing hair? Don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> don't lie, baby. Cause I could do that. I could do whatever you just did in the dark and, I, and I'm not bragging. So now I'm looking at three people specifically. Two of the three people, when you go to book their book on this little website, and why are all these braiders, where are these braiders getting these websites from? Because they all look the same. What are open? Is this gonna open or what? Oh, oh, can I do? Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Hello. Oh, it smells so good. I wanna eat this. It's like a little see-through. It's almost like a jelly. Let's just put that in there. Oh, I like this. Wow, I like this a lot actually. It has a little bit of a slip. A lot of leave-in conditioners, I feel like you gotta really work it in. But anyway, I would get to their websites and it's like 18 bullet points. Boom, 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 boom that I need to do before I get my hair braided. Come with your hair washed, no product in it, blow it out. Like Too much! Not for you to braid my hair for $200. That don't make sense, baby. Something not adding up. You want $200 for me to come already washed and blow dry? That's wild. I get the girls being like, pay braid is what they're worth. At some point, it's like. You out your mind. One girl was like, once you book an appointment, send me $50 via Cash App or Zelle. Okay. That was sounding like a scam. That'll confirm your spot. Okay, cool, a little, a little deposit. You do that, okay, I read a couple of bullet points down. Then it's like, when you there and you finish your hair, you can't pay in Zelle or Cash App. Now you gotta pay in cash. What? <laughs> she said, I prefer cash. Oh my God, Carisha. And if you can only pay in Zelle or Cash App, it's a $20 upcharge. What is going on? And then she was like, if your appointment's at one and if you come at 106, $20. No, $50 upcharge. What? This is too militant. It's too militant. And now it's bad vibes. And I go off the of energy, baby. Like, I'm not letting nobody play in my hair if they already giving me this. I DM'd her before I booked on her situation because she's like a travel braider. One day she here, one day she here. She there. So I was like, hey girl, are you in Phoenix? Hello. She did me back pretty quickly. She said, yeah, I am. Good energy, good vibes. I'm just gonna go there. Okay, let's try this little sculpting gel. It smells so delicious. I did see somebody in the comments of somebody else's video because I watched somebody else use these. Somebody said that they actually apply this outside of the shower and then they add water and then they kind of do that. I'm just gonna add some water. Oh, my hair feels so moisturized with this even. Let's take a little bit of custard. Ooh, I forget what y'all call this, but y'all be like, you gotta rub it in your hands for a while. Okay. This is the moment. Okay. You a bar. It feels good, lots of slip. Hold on, let me put a little bit more on the roots. I don't want it to flake, so I'm gonna add it sparingly. Okay. It's really giving curl just like custard. I can tell that this is something you have to put in your hair and let it sit. Like air dryer or get under a, a hooded dryer. 
you the ball. Congratulations, you played yourself. Yeah, you're not gonna wanna disturb this one too much. Wow, look y'all. Oh wow, it's so good. Okay, let's just keep going, Chad. And wow, I really just got tired. That's not fair. Actually it is, it's 11 o'clock at night. That's actually quite fair, baby. Oh, also remember I used grease and I was trying to get it out of my hair and it wouldn't, it wouldn't come out? This stuff? What's this? Worked. Just now in the shower, I finally felt my hair clean. I think it's because of this. So now I don't know what to do. I think it's like a clay mask. I think clay really helps there. Ooh. I think I am gonna buy one of those rolling um, hair dryers though, cause that, that really would come in handy, like right now tonight when I'm about to go to bed and I want my hair to be dry. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna turn on a podcast and just vibe out. Dude, just vibe, like. If you don't got scalp problems, do this. Uh -huh. take, a, take a little bit of your product and literally like comb it at the root. That's how you get your stuff to curl straight from the root. Go straight to the root, right? And just like comb it out from the top. And that always, always, what is that girl? Look like a booger. Okay. Like you always get your hair to curl straight from the root. But that could be an issue for the girls with like scalp issues. I be doing that sometimes and then I be looking dumb and stupid on day three. This has major coiling potential. Like you see, I think for this to be a custard, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. And hold your horse, and hold your horses, girl, because it's not fully dry. I'm gonna let this dry, and then I'll come back. I look like somebody dead. I look like somebody dead. It's like an hour later, my hair is like kind of dried. I'm gonna dry the roots completely with my diffuser before I go to bed. But I'm kind of liking this because it's moisturized. It's a little bit more volume than I'm used to, but for a two day situation, cause I'm definitely getting my hair bitted on Friday. You see that right there? Yeah, right there. That's my Halloween decoration. Halloween. It's January. <laughs> Y'all, it's January. It's about to be January 13th. I, I just haven't taken it down. Should I even dry it? I should probably dry this, huh? Y'all, look at this, it's so cute. It's, the definition is there. This is right in between something I don't want and something I do want. Wetline Stream Gel gives me like so much definition. You wouldn't see this much volume. Like this is a lot of volume for Wetline Stream Gel day one. But also this could have been worse. This is what I call controlled frizz. And it's not all the way dry yet. So hopefully tomorrow we'll see it like shrink up a little bit more, get a bit more definition. I think I'm just gonna put it up in a loose bun. I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm too tired. If this come out bad tomorrow, it's not their fault. It's not their fault, baby. It's mine. It's mine because I'm too lazy. I want to go to bed. Good night. Uh-uh. I just woke up, baby. So I don't know what you look like. So don't be come. Don't come for me, big dog. Um, I'm going to, I set an alarm for early this morning because I was interested in this 260 sale. If you don't know what that is, go check out my closet clean out girl. I talked all about it there. But it was a specific brand that I was like interested in a few of their items for traveling. I did that, boom, 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 boom. And I forgot I had a lot, like, I need to, I'm going to put my credit card down. I forgot I had like a routine. <laughs> Why am I still in my body and, and it's like pretty much 5 o'clock p.m. now? In their online shopping. Get off that computer. I got that retainer. I'm actually not stressed today because I found out that I don't have a deadline for some stuff that I had to film. And so I can just film that when I get back to my trip. I think I'm still gonna film this stuff, but knowing that I don't have to, like nobody's telling me to do it. Now that's what I'm talking about. Aquarius things. I think I'm still gonna go get my hair braided. Security. Tomorrow I'm getting my side shaved. That way I can take your man better. I feel like more easily because he be distracted on that PS5 and I need, he needs something to look at. Cause you ain't giving him nothing to look at, baby. <laughs> you gotta get your side shaved. That's the only way he gonna look. And turn off that PS5, that um, Madden, huh? that Madden game. <laughs> That's a football game, child. That's Steve Madden game, baby. And while you at it, cook his favorite meal. He be eating spam and kids cuisine, but you don't be buying that for him. I do. That's why he be over here every day. That's right. <laughs> Okay, we are gonna see what my hair is looking like, child. Let's take this bonnet off after I put this sunscreen on. Now. I did go in last night and dried my hair just a little bit. I really wasn't trying to peel myself. Oh, 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 oh my God, it smells. Oh, it smells just like you, man. Mm. <laughs> I thought it would be like super matted, 
but it's not. I try to tie my hair up at night in a way to where like if I, on my side or even on the back, I'm not like flattening my hair. So I try to pineapple it, but very loosely because even when you pineapple it with like something like this, it'll create those indentation marks. Oh, okay. I just kind of loosely pineapple it with the silk scarf. What the? Okay, the back is, what's the back looking like? Be honest. <laughs> uh. Wow. What? It don't look good? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, it's not eating back there? Oh my god, what is this? I don't know. Okay, let's just shake it out. You know you need your hair to thaw out a little bit. Like, you need to let it, like, breathe. I like this a lot. Like, it's a little frizzy, but it's moisturized. It, it's reminding me of Donna's recipe a little bit, but Donna's recipe is, like, heavy, thick, oily. Not a bad thing, it's just a different kind of feel. I like that, too, and it smells like sweet potato. This is different from... Um... What's that thing that I reviewed? This is different from Curl Days in that this has movement. Oh. Ooh, ooh, okay, ooh. it's a little frizzy, but like you can definitely see like it's a little frizzy and I feel like I can just go back over some of those parts There is definition like there is a little bit more hold than the curl day stuff I think it costs less than the curl day stuff and it definitely is way less frizzy. I'm gonna blast it. Got a blast I'm gonna blast it with some cool air. This could get a little bit of movement in the back Oh, see, look, that looks a lot better already. I'm gonna let it rest a little bit, let it breathe, and then, honestly, this is probably just it, girl. That was a quick wash and got me. Like, I did my hair in, like, 40 minutes last night. Honestly, this leave-in conditioner is it. I'm, I wanna say I'm obsessed, but I say I'm obsessed every single time, and it's like... Keep saying it. Just keep saying it. Keep saying it out loud. I'm gonna give it a few more tries, but I really like this off the bat. This is an example for me of a leave-in conditioner that is different from all the other ones that I'm usually trying. It's not as, like, creamy. It is moisturizing, and it does have slip, but it doesn't give you like that white residue, you know what I'm saying? And a little goes a long way, and a lot does a lot, and I like that. I'm gonna pin my hair back a little bit. This is the final look, child. Thanks for hanging out with me, even though you begged for me to come over. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up, and if you wanna stick around, be my friend, be my homie, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me everywhere online. Just don't follow me in real life. When do you, when do, because I know some people. Mm. How about that? I know some people. <laughs> you're going to get a knock at your door as soon as you sneak up on me. Anyway, I hope to see you back here real soon for another episode of Go on a Win. But until then, bye. Top 10 radar. Yeah, we on your radar.